sees us as we see it. It strains through us. It's not only shaping what we feel, what we believe, who we are. And then, sometimes, something stands out. Shake the light at the air. Sudden flash of color. A small instant that feels larger than it should. To observe is simply to exist, to be part of the endless experiment of being alive. Hi, Shushan. Will you tell me more about your project? Yes, sure. Um, I think Cambrian S is a position, a data set, a benchmark, and a model. But ultimately, it shows our exploration of the idea of supersensing in video. We humans perceive and understand the world, basically as a video. So I believe to achieve super intelligence, the first step is to build spatial supersensing. Yeah, so to study a new problem, we first need proper benchmarks. Current video understanding benchmarks focus too much on textual knowledge record. We audit existing ones and design two new benchmarks that better capture super sensing abilities by concatenating multiple clips into an arbitrarily long video. One benchmark checks the order of object appearance and the other counts objects across multiple spaces. These tests are intuitive for humans, yet even the best video models struggle because they are not already designed for super sensing. Yeah. And just to push the limits of current multimodal large and model paradigm, uh, we make this large scale spatially focused data set uh, and train a model family called Cambria S. Uh, and their performance uh, exceeds our expectation. Um, we are open sourcing everything. We are co releasing two related projects. Uh, so in Cambrian 1, our blind test identified uh, non visual biases in some multimodal benchmarks. Um, so in TST, we take this a step further and was a method to both identify and debias uh, these benchmarks. In Sims, uh, we focus on how to generate spatial training data from simulators. But that's not the end. New benchmarks require super sensing, and with current tools, we are not really progressing. So we are prototyping a new approach called predictive sensing. It predicts the next latent frame to model the future, and we measure the price to identify key moments, like when a new object appears or scene changes. Other models keep any more data, more tokens, while ours doesn't need to. This small world model helps us not only see, but actively predict and learn from the world.